out in its usual Hambletonian day finery. The pleasant little village of Goshen, New York, is ready once again to welcome Grand Circuit Harness Racing Fraternity. And thousands of harness racing fans who are coming from all points of the compass today for the 29th renewal of the Hambletonian stake for three-year-old trotters. Old timers who make the trip each year are glad to return to Goshen because they've fallen in love with the friendly village and the Hamiltonian Day hospitality of Ladies Aid Society, which provide refreshments reminiscent of the old church law and socials. It's a little more commercialized at the track itself, where Joe Fan has to pay his way through the gate, but when he watches the Hamiltonian horses in action, he gets his money's worth and then some. Eleven of them are going to the post today, headed by Scott Frost, the most phenomenal young trotter of all time. The purse is $86,000. Nothing like bringing the whole family with you. This one looks like a strong, stable entry. Goshen has been the home of the Hamiltonian since Bill Kane brought it here in 1930. These storied grounds have echoed to the hoofbeats of some great horses, but the quality of the three-year-old trotters has never been more potent than in the current season. Scott Frost, undefeated this year, won in two minutes at Vernon Downs last week, equaling the world record he took as a two-year-old last year. But Gallophone, Childs Hanover, Butch Hanover, and Colby Mike are all rated highly for this traditional event. Harness racing fans come in all age groups. Here are a pair of middle-aged observers. Here is a younger generation looking over the program, and here is a link with the harness racing fans. An old-timer and his wife who never miss the trotting classic. Almost race time now, and caretakers are wrapping up last minute chores before the call to post. The horses are in the paddock and ready for the race. That's been seen to by veteran paddock judge Dave Freak, who's been handling the Hamiltonian chore for years and years. Joe O'Brien, Scott Frost driver, reports for work as does Billy Houghton, who will handle Gallifold. Here, Houghton exchanges a word with last year's Hamiltonian winner, Del Cameron. Johnny Simpson, who will pilot Leopold Hanover and Ralph Baldwin, Colby Mice driver, contemplate the moments ahead. And Mrs. O'Brien drops by for a last minute chat with her husband. The fans come to the edge of their seats now as the Hamiltonian horses prepare to enter the track. In a moment or two, they'll be off and trotting with the horse that wins, two heats, being declared the winner. The Saul Camp entry of Shafter, California, leads the way onto the track. That's Butch Hanover with Jack Richardson. Undefeated Scott Frost with O'Brien. And home free with Clint Hodgins. Next is the Dell Miller entry up way ahead with Miller up. An Indian Raider with Jimmy Arthur. Here's Leopold Hanover with Johnny Simpson. Colby Mike with Ralph Baldwin. Childs Hanover with Frank Irvin. Gallophone with Billy Houghton. Flemington with Dana Cameron. And our Villa Hanover with amateur rangeman Roger Brown, who bought her for $35,000 the other day, just so he'd have one to drive in the big race. The camp entry of Scott Frost, Butch Hanover, and Home Free is the red hot choice at three and a half to 10. California's second choice at almost five to one. Now the last minute score and then 
Starter Steve Phillips calls them in behind his mobile starting gate, and the crowd anxiously awaits the start of the first heat. Childs Hanover is off stride there in the background. As they come down to the starting point, Scott Frost is out in the center of the track, way ahead, and Leopold Hanover on the rail. It's Scott Frost that breaks out of that gate on top. Leopold Hanover's on the rail, way ahead between horses as they get away. And moving into the turn now, that's Scott Frost on the outside. He now challenges for and gets the lead. Leopold Hanover around that turn is second. And way ahead is third. Galifone is moving on the outside now, fourth around that turn. Butch Hanover is fifth. Indian Raider is sixth. Flemington is seventh. Colby Might, our Villa Hanover home free and Childs Hanover off stride. The quarter in 29 and four fifths. On the lead on the rail, it's Scott Frost with Galifone, the challenger on the outside now second. Leopold Hanover is third. Way ahead is fourth. Butch Hanover is fifth. Indian Raider is sixth. Flemington is seventh. And Galifone has that lead now with Scott Frost second. Leopold Hanover is third. Way ahead is four. Scott Frost content to moving on the outside now. He's going right on. It's Scott Frost taking back over the lead from Galifone. Leopold Hanover is third. Way ahead is fourth. Butch Hanover is fifth. Indian Raider is sixth. Flemington is seventh. And Colby Might is eighth. Arvilla Hanover ninth. Home free and child Hanover trail the field. The half was in 1-1. One, one. Scott Frost on that lead now. Around the turn. Galifone is second. And now that's Butch Hanover moving on the outside. Butch Hanover is nailed fifth on the outside. He's nailed fourth. Indian Raider also moving on the outside behind Butch Hanover. Butch Hanover is now third. Scott Frost has the lead. Here comes his stablemate. Butch Hanover up on the outside. Galifone is third. It's Indian Raider fourth. And Indian Raider breaks stride as they come to the three-quarter mark. Leopold Hanover is saving ground on that rail. Flemington has moved up and is now fifth around the turn. Way ahead is six. The three-quarter time was 132 and three-fifths. It's now Butch Hanover showing in front by just a nose. Scott Frost has that lead again as he moves through. Galifone goes to the extreme outside. And Leopold Hanover is saving ground and moving fast on the inside. It's Scott Frost and Leopold Hanover is now making up ground. He's now second on the outside. He's going for that leader. It's Scott Frost and Leopold Hanover. As they come for that wire, it's Scott Frost and Leopold Hanover. Galifone on the outside third. And Butch Hanover in right there is way ahead as they come to the wire. As the drivers pull up, the margin of victory proves to have been a half a length with Galifone third and Butch Hanover fourth. That's the ninth straight heat win for Scott Frost. The time was a splendid two one and three fifths for the mild. And Scott Frost pays 270 to win, 310 to place and 220 to show. After a one hour respite during which both the track and the horses are freshened up, they'll be back for the second heat. There are no scratches, and thus the field for the second heat is intact. The camp entry is favored at 3 to 10 this trip, just a little more prominently than before. It's still 5 to 1 against William T. Mayberry's Galifone. There's Scott Frost taking his final score. And the starting gate moves forward. Scott Frost, Leopold Hanover, and way ahead in the center of the track, coming down together. And Leopold Hanover is the first horse to break out of the gate. And Scott Frost is along the rail. Childs Hanover and way ahead is moving up on the outside. It's Leopold Hanover on that lead. Way ahead second on the outside. Scott Frost third on the rail. Childs Hanover is nailed fourth. Galifone between horses is fifth. Home free is sixth. Flemington off stride is seventh. As they come over to the turn now, it's Leopold Hanover on the lead. Way ahead is second. Scott Frost is third on the rail. Childs Hanover is fourth. Home free is fifth on the rail. Galifone is sixth on the outside. And Butch Hanover is seventh. As they swing around the turn into the quarter mark. On the lead, it's Leopold Hanover. Way ahead is second. Back there, fifth. Home free is off stride. As they wheel around the turn and go to the back stretch. 29 and a fifth that quarter time. It's way ahead and Leopold Hanover. And Childs Hanover, third horse on the outside, is ranging up for that lead. Childs Hanover, way ahead. And Leopold Hanover, three horses across the track. Childs Hanover has the lead now. Way ahead, dropping back between horses. Leopold Hanover is second on the rail. Scott Frost is still fourth. Galifone is nailed fifth. As they hit the halfway mark on that lead now, it's Childs Hanover by a length. Leopold Hanover is second. Around the turn, Scott Frost is caught between horses, and Colby Might is moving up fast. Nailed six, nailed fifth. Colby Might is still moving up on the outside. They've got Scott Frost between horses. The half was in a minute and one-fifth. 
Around the turn, it's Child's Hanover on the lead. Colby Might is still moving. Scott Frost trying to come between horses. And Gallifone comes with him. It's Colby Might ranging up on the outside now. Way ahead, dropping back. But Scott Frost finds a hole and he breaks through and Gallifone goes with him. Colby Might seems to be tiring. It's Scott Frost on that lead. Child's Hanover is second. Colby Might third, but Gallifone is eating up ground fast. Gallifone is now third, now second. It's Scott Frost on the lead. Gallifone is second. Child's Hanover is third now. The three quarters in 131 and a fifth. Leopold Hanover is fourth. As they come around the turn, Butch Hanover is nailed fifth. Leopold Hanover moving on the outside, trying to get up for third. But it's Scott Frost and Gallifone, two of the greatest three-year-olds of all time. They're coming into the top of the lane. And watch the drivers, watch the horses. One of the greatest finishes of any Hamiltonian. Scott Frost and Gallifone are giving it all they've got, head and head, neck and neck. Scott Frost and Gallifone, as they come for that wire, Scott Frost in the closest bit of his career. And so Scott Frost takes it in the tightest bit of his young career. Ahead over gallant Gallifone. Man, what a finish that was. The time is sizzling two minutes and three fifths. Only Hootman, sire of Scott Frost, ever trotted faster in the Hamiltonian. His two minute effort in 1947 standing up as the stake record. In the winner's circle, caretaker Don Beal walks his horse and awaits the arrival of the guests of honor. Here's driver O'Brien wiping away a little lipstick as his wife Betty congratulates caretaker B. O'Brien, a Canadian by birth, is one of the nation's finest trainers and drivers. He's been working for Mr. Camp for four years now, and they've had some great champions. There's Mr. Camp. That's his daughter-in-law with him, and with the O'Briens is Mrs. Camp. Scott Frost, first two-year-old ever to try to race in two minutes, has now won five straight this year and 11 straight heats. And today he's taking his place alongside the all-time harness racing greats.